Welcome back as we continue with our series of Luke 19. I had begun last time and I was sharing about uh, uh, Luke 19. Remember we shared that Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. That is why I couldn't let that moment to pass through without giving someone an opportunity to receive Jesus, welcome Jesus into their situation. No matter how bad it is, Jesus can make you to start all over again. And uh, I prayed with someone, I just wanted to give that opportunity. But we continue, verses 2, the Bible says, A man named Zacchaeus lived there. A man named Zacchaeus lived there. I want you to know this name Zacchaeus means pure. But the man Zacchaeus lived far from the meaning of his name purity. The Bible says he was a tax collector. And not just a tax collector, but a chief tax collector. And the Bible continues that verse 2, it says that, and he was rich. As we continue, you will see what I'm saying. That his lifestyle was far off from what his name meant. His name Zacchaeus meant that he was pure. But the lifestyle was showing otherwise. And at this juncture, it is a time as saints and Christians, we need to start asking ourselves some difficult question. Are we living the lifestyle that we call ourselves to be? Does the name that we call ourselves show forth the things that we display today? We call ourselves Christians. And you've seen every other time and then. The other time we were watching and... Uh, they were writing in the internet, uh, the social media, churches from hell. And it is a time we start asking ourselves some difficult question. Are we living what we call ourselves to be? Zacchaeus was pure. The name was pure. But what he lived was different from the name. And I feel in my spirit, it is a time we start not just seeing the charisma and uh, the things that we display. But we need to dig deeper our character. Our character. Character is very important. As saints, we need to work on our character too. Zacchaeus means pure. But what he displayed was otherwise. Until he was convicted when he encountered Jesus. And uh, he confessed by his mouth. And did an action to correct his mistakes. It is a time as saints we start looking at our character. Start displaying what we confess. Not just speaking of water and we are taking wine. Not just speaking what we are not doing by ourselves. Even me as I'm speaking right now. It is my desire and my prayer that God will help me. What I speak, what I teach is what I do. It is not that I'm perfect, I'm pure, but even me, I'm in this journey. I'm fighting. I'm in this fight of faith. <laughs> the Bible says a good name is better than perfume. It's better than perfume. And that is why we started by saying it doesn't matter where you are today, Jesus can enter and co correct the messes that you've done. And you can start all over again. All over again. Where you've allowed the dead flies to enter into a perfume. And a perfume has started bringing out a, an odor smell. It is no longer a perfume coming out. As a church, as a people, as saints, we have allowed some dead flies to die into our perfume and we are no longer bringing out a good smell but we are bringing out an odor it is a time as saying we need to begin correcting these things Zacchaeus corrected his life and when he heard of Jesus he said I must have an encounter with this man I must have an encounter with this man. 
allow me to pause at this juncture and leave you just to start asking yourself some difficult question. Am I living and walking what I'm calling myself to be? I'm a pastor, I'm an usher, I'm a praise and worship team, I'm a saint, I'm a Christian, I'm a leader. But am I displaying the characters of our leaders, the characters of the church? I'm a church, am I displaying the characters of the church? Father, I pray with someone out there right now, and even as we share together these words, by your spirit, may you convict us and show us our shortcomings and help us to turn into the right way and move into the right path. In Jesus' name, I have prayed and believed. Shalom. May the Lord bless you out there, even as you ask yourself these questions and come back to the right path. As Zacchaeus came back to the right path. Shalom. May the Lord bless you so much. This is Pastor Mutuka.